Let's talk about back brace wood options. I'm going to make it pretty clear in this video that I don't believe that back brace material makes a big difference to the sound or any noticeable difference at all. With the one exception of if you're making a very active back, then you will probably want to choose a bracing material that's lighter weight. Now, most guitars are not built that way, so uh, in most cases, the wood type that you use for the back braces is not going to matter and it's not going to make an, a difference that you would ever be able to hear in the guitar. The traditional choices are usually spruce or mahogany and I'd say those are probably the, the most common with maybe Spanish cedar being uh, another option in there. But uh, I know I used to use willow bracing, black willow or weeping willow, and uh, now I use poplar um, or aspen bracing. And the main reason I use poplar is because it's a local wood, it's a soft wood, it resists splitting easily, um, it's easy to carve, but the fibers are held together really tightly so it won't, it's very s stable. Also, I've had experience with poplar that's aged for many, many years and it actually hardens quite a bit over time. So it's, it's a wood that's going to last the test of time. It has all the right properties to make great brace wood. Um, and I really think any soft wood would work very well for bracing as long as it's not prone to cracking very easily and it's uh, rigid enough to hold the back in its arch. So most backs are uh, probably 90%, 95% of guitar backs are radius to 15, a 15 foot radius. Um, so the braces are actually curved to a 15 foot radius and they get glued to the thin back which uh, gets curved into that radius by the braces. The reason for this is because when you curve the back like that it actually gives the back some flexibility when the humidity changes. So if it was flat and it dried out then the back has nowhere to go except for separating, so cracking. Um, but with a radius, it actually can flatten. The radius can flatten before you end up having cracks and issues like that. Um, so yeah, wood type, I really don't think that you would ever actually be able to hear a difference. Unless, like I said, you were trying to build a guitar with a very active back. So a lightweight back. So I encourage you to try to find something in your area, a, a soft wood, um, and do some tests. Uh, if it splits very very easily then that might not be the right option um, but there are plenty of woods out there and there's no reason to stick to those traditional two or three options um, especially if it's a pain to get a hold of and you want to be more local about your choices so I hope you found this video helpful and uh, if you have any questions uh, put them in the comments below and I'd be happy to help See you in the next video.